A bunch of chatter on Twitter has people wondering, is AGI coming a lot sooner than we think? Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. Today's episode is fairly interesting and something that I would not have expected to be digging into right now. However, the discourse has shifted in a fairly significant way in the last couple of days, and the conversation is entirely around AGI and ASI. Now, one of the perpetual questions in the AI space is just how far along are we? How does the current state of technology stack up to this mythological artificial general intelligence or even artificial superintelligence that represent polls, benchmarks, and goals for the future? As we've seen over the last few months, in many cases, the answer to these questions have significant financial implications. Until recently, for example, Microsoft and OpenAI's deal had a covenant that effectively nullified the deal when the OpenAI board said that AGI had been achieved. Now, recently, if you've been listening to the show, you'll know that the definitions were tightened up to be basically revenue-based, but still the point is that there are big stakes here. In addition to the financial stakes of the conversation, there's just the broader question of what it means for the world. And when it comes to how far along we are, or more specifically, how close to AGI we are, most would have thought that over the last few months, we had felt a setback. Everyone has been racing to explore new paths to scaling, like test time compute, as the pre-training paradigm of scaling seemed to be producing less and less positive results. Anyway, that was the setup of the conversation heading into the last few days, but then some interesting things started to happen. First, on Saturday, January 4th, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman wrote, I always wanted to write a six-word story. Here it is. Near the singularity, unclear which side. Now, Altman came online later and tried to clarify, saying it's supposed to be either about one, the simulation hypothesis, or two, the impossibility of knowing when the critical moment in the takeoff actually happens, but I like that it works in a lot of other ways, too. Capturing the collective, are you kidding me, dude, though, the intern account writes, dude, you cannot just tweet this lol. This is like if Putin hopped on Twitter and said he's dropping a six-word story. Might press the button, maybe not. And if it had just been that, maybe we could write this off as Sam being Sam and his penchant for cryptic hints getting the better of him around the holiday. But that was far from the only indicator that we've seen that OpenAI folks seem to think that the trajectory has changed. Agent safety researcher Stephen McAleer at OpenAI says, I kind of miss doing AI research back when we didn't know how to create superintelligence. The company has also been dropping hints about exactly what that process is. During the reveal of O3, researchers joked about asking the model to improve itself. Sam Altman cut him off and said maybe we shouldn't do that. Chubby shared that tweet and said, One OpenAI researcher said this yesterday, and today Sam said we're near the singularity. WTF is going on. They've all gotten so much more bullish since they've started the O-series RL loop. One, Sam's essay, ASI, in a few thousand days. Referring to the essay which we read for the end-of-year LRS, by the way. Number two, Sam's post from today. Yesterday, this post from OpenAI researcher McAleer. There was also this thread from Joshua Achaim, the head of Mission Alignment. On January 5th, he wrote, The world isn't grappling enough with the seriousness of AI and how it will upend or negate a lot of the assumptions many seemingly robust equilibria are based upon. Domestic politics, international politics, market efficiency, the rate of change of technological progress, social graphs, the emotional dependency of people on other people. How we live, how healthy we are, our ability to use technology to change our own bodies and minds. Every single facet of the human experience is going to be impacted. It's extremely strange to me that more people are not aware or interested or even fully believe in the kind of changes that are likely to begin in this decade and continue well through the century. It will not be an easy century. It will be a turbulent one. If we get it right, the joy, fulfillment, and prosperity will be unimaginable. We might fail to get it right if we don't approach the challenge head on. Now, capping this off was a blog post from Sam Altman posted last night, January 5th. The post was simply called Reflections. He kicks it off. The second birthday of ChatGPT was only a little over a month ago, and now we've transitioned into the next paradigm of models that can do complex reasoning. New Year's get people in a reflective mood, and I wanted to share some personal thoughts about how it has gone so far and some of the things I've learned along the way. As we get closer to AGI, it feels like an important time to look at the progress of our company. There's still so much to understand, still so much we don't know, and it's still so early. But we know a lot more than we did when we started. Sam then walks through a bit of a history of the company. How surprised they were when ChatGPT took off when it was launched in November of 2022. How messy the company building process has been. Sam took some time to discuss getting fired by the board. He basically reflects upon it as a learning experience for him and the company. But the real meat of it, and the thing that everyone's talking about, is the last few paragraphs. Altman concludes, We are now confident we know how to build AGI as we have traditionally understood it. We believe that in 2025, we may see the first AI agents join the workforce and materially change the output of companies. 
We continue to believe that iteratively putting great tools in the hands of people leads to great, broadly distributed outcomes. We are beginning to turn our aim beyond that, to superintelligence in the true sense of the word. We love our current products, but we are here for the glorious future. With superintelligence, we can do anything else. Superintelligent tools could massively accelerate scientific discovery and innovation well beyond what we are capable of doing on our own, and in turn massively increase abundance and prosperity. This sounds like science fiction right now, and somewhat crazy to even talk about. That's all right. We've been there before, and we're okay with being there again. We're pretty confident that in the next few years, everyone will see what we see, and that the need to act with great care while still maximizing broad benefit and empowerment is so important. Now, for months, Altman has been sort of resetting the goalposts on AGI, saying that in terms of the way that we've thought about it in the past, we'll probably be there sooner than we think, but it'll probably have less impact than we would have thought. Clearly, this resets the goalposts even further to really put the aim of OpenAI at superintelligence, not just AGI. Professor Ethan Malik points out that this is not coming from Sam alone and reflects what he's been hearing as well. He tweeted the last part of the essay and wrote, This bit of Sam Altman's newest post is similar in tone to a post by the CEO of Anthropic and what many, not all, researchers from every lab have been saying publicly and privately. You do not have to believe them, but I think they believe what they are saying for what it's worth. For many, then, the conversation is, what do we do now? What are the implications of AGI being here faster than we think? This is now a key question and one that we will be exploring a lot more, it seems, in 2025. That's going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Until next time, peace.